All right, here we are with Rick Dorr at the Monterey Jet Center. 2018, getting ready for McCall's big party on Wednesday night. Yeah. And you bought another great car. It's good to see you, my friend. How well, you been? Yeah, it's good to see you, too. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Rob Williams introduced us over the phone, and you wanted to go to Retromobile. In Paris, yeah. Yep. We met. We officially met in Paris. Exactly. And uh, I knew of you, but uh, really had not talked to you. But the thing is, I was always impressed with what you're doing, because you're building one-off cars that are custom, that are special, yeah. and you're using a lot of the coach building techniques that were French you know, influence yes, in absolutely. the day. And that's what I really want to talk to you about because there's not too many guys that have got it right, and you got it right. Uh, in the earlier years, uh, we customized all the 30s and 40s and 50s cars that appealed to me, the model from Detroit. Right. Take that, chop the top, whatever. So uh, several years ago, I was like, I was a little burnt out on that. I was repeating myself, with, whether it was a Cadillac or a Buick, and I met Marcel, and that opened up the doors to go to the next level. So really, the thing that uh, has impressed you or what's really got you going in design work is really the French influence pre-war. Absolutely. It's the French masters that influence me more than anybody else. And. Uh, you know, whether it be Fugoni and Falashi or Sauchek or whoever it was, I always loved the 30s cars. I like French styling, only with an American attitude. Right. And when I say American attitude, I mean something that looks aggressive. Something that looks like it's going to bite you when you turn the corner. Right. Uh, with this car here, uh, I wanted the fenders up high, almost level with the, the hood, and the same in the rear. And I wanted the body to look like I was sitting inside the four fenders. And it had that French styling, right. but it also had an American attitude. Right. It had that for lack of a better word, a hot rod attitude. I know it has removable hard top. I know it's all aluminum. I know you did it. Yeah. All right, but tell me what are the real significant things that you think are important? Well, uh, it's a true roadster, and you rarely see, I've never seen, a roadster with a curved windshield. I wanted the peaks of the fenders to be pretty much even with the top of the hood. So this way it looked low slung, like you were sitting inside of the fenders. Right. The lift off top, the curved windshield, I didn't want to use any skirts on this car. It's got a ramjet engine, and uh, it's modified to look like an old Corvette Fuley. Okay. Uh, it really runs great. It's 380 horse. It's got an overdrive transmission. For a guy like Mullen or who knows, it's got a Delahaye that won't drive it out on the street because of obvious reasons. With this, you got the best of both worlds. You got the look, but you got the contemporary part of it where the drivetrain is all late model. So. You can lose a water pump on the side of the freeway and go right. to any place and get a water pump right. for it. It does look like the old fuel injection off of a Corvette. Yeah, I but didn't. This is a modern version, right? It, it is a modern version. This car should really have an earlier engine in it, but again, for reliability and for you know not so many problems, right. uh, this works great. And I wanted it to look like an old Corvette fuel. Right. So we reworked the throttle body around the side. We took the 40 Lincoln air cleaner turned it sideways. We used the old style spark plug wires. I see that. That's cool. The way that you peak the fenders and the way that they go down and the way they pick back up, I mean, this is, you know, it's a detail that, you know, a lot of a lot of cars don't get this, but I mean, yeah. I like this. Yeah. I like the way this looks. Well, you'd like driving it as well. Well, that's true. That's true. And that could be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the chrome that you see is all made out of brass. The windshield is steel. Uh, the only thing that isn't hand built on this car is the rear view mirror, the wheels and tires, and the license plate frame. Even the Lincoln steering wheel is shrunk from a 19 to a 16. The thing I noticed about your dash, which is very impressive to me, I'm just going to call it Series 1 Bugatti. Okay. Type 57, I'll because it's one, it's one center yeah. cluster. And you've got the gauges in there. You've obviously made that. Yeah. And I mean, that is awesome because most cars, they make it into a little bit of an European cockpit. You've got all your yeah. separate gauges. But see, yeah. that's very typically almost French. The interior is a German mohair and uh, Egyptian leather, actually. Wow. The headlights were custom made for me by Headwinds okay. in Southern California. When you actually conceive of drawing or deciding about a design, how do you go about that? Well, I have enough history, if you went to my website and seen all the cars on there, I have enough history where I could say to Eric Brockmeyer, look, I want to do a car that's 116 inch wheelbase, as this is, I want the fenders dragged out in the back, and I want that French sweep from the front fenders that run right into the front of the rear fenders. And I could tell him, look, go to the 37 Zephyr we did, and take that rear fender off of my website, and do a horizontal section three inches in the center, and drag the back out, add four inches to the back. 
so we go back and forth 30 or 40 times. He does just line drawings until he nails it. And then he takes that line drawing after I've approved it and he puts it in his computer and blows it up to scale. So at my shop, where I have the rendering of this, it's scale. Me and you could take off this fender and hold it up to the rendering and it will match the rendering. It's pretty impressive, actually, when I think about it. Uh, this car was about uh, nine months to build and uh, I drove it around for about a year and a half in bare aluminum. Uh, get any of the rattles out or whatever and then we painted it uh, finished it in January 2018. I really appreciate you taking the time to see me today sure. and I know we're having dinner on Friday night with our, our, our whole posse. Yeah, that's right. And, that's right. Um, so I'll see you on the field for the Concours I'm sure also but uh, the guys here are getting us to get you staged so I think Alex and I will go along and watch you put her away. Okay pal. Thank right. you. Thank you. Good talking to you. Yeah. Thank you.